Eddie. <sighs> Howdy, everyone. Well, no one. Let's get started. Uh, I don't know which save game we're on. Okay, there isn't a continue button, so I just have to figure it out. 31st of August. Um, I don't have one just called Load Me, unfortunately. I need to remember to... Well, that's a big jump. It's okay. September, October, November. 25th of November, is that... Is Gecko Genocide where I am? Is that the last, uh... Looks like it is. November 2241. Alright, sure, Gecko Genocide. Oh yeah, I want pelts, don't I? Or I just... I just retrieved and sold pelts. I still have some more because the merchant... What am I... Okay, the merchant didn't have enough money to pay me for them all. I think. Let me double check. Hello. And how many caps do you have? Not a whole lot. No, but enough to pay me for this. Why didn't I sell these already? They will take some a stim pack. Okay, we'll give them two skins. Actually, is all three are all three enough for two stim packs? No. Oh, I thought there was two hundred and three, not two hundred eighty three. That's a little pricey. Okay, we'll take. Okay, we'll just sell them one. That is a okay. E, that's pretty good. Okay, I have leather armor. What do you guys have? Come out here. What you be needing? Do I be needing? Okay, you also have leather armor. What type of armor does uh Vic have? Leather jacket. Fair enough. Okay. So we know how to hunt geckos and skin them. Let's go back out, try and get to Vault City again. No, we're going to. That's why we call it Gecko Genocide. We're going to the toxic caves to hunt them, aren't we? Um. Except our companions are useless there because they'll traipse all throughout the toxic goo. Maybe we'll leave them for now. I mean, that would be a great source of money and XP, I guess, though. Okay, maybe we'll go there. But I'll tell them to maybe stay put at the front. I don't know. And you need to wait here. Yeah, I'll come back. What you be needing? You wait here. He's 
look like a good place to sit back for a bit. Yeah, sure does. Alright, I'm wearing my stompy boots. Let's go punch. No, stop running. Why are you running? Sorry, Gecko, I have to do this. It does feel kind of mean picking on them when they're just running from me. He looks wounded and has crippled limbs. <sighs> Sorry, I need the XP, friend. Well, feels bad, but give me that skin. What about your friend up here? Well, he ran himself into a corner. Oh no, there's just fish in a barrel now. Really wounded and has crippled limbs. What? Well, call me the skin collector. Um, where's the way down again? Hello? Okay, I found it. Okay, not all of these are crippled. Oh, hello, Six thank you, Six Twenty two is now following. Yeah, okay, this one's not crippled. We have a proper fight on our hands. No, oh, I'm out of AP. That's fine. Let's try and go for the eyes. Vertically hit. Did that cripple him? Probably not. Okay, we'll try again. Well, it's not critically injured, but I wish I had my knife equipped as well. You know, let's let's take off our boots next turn. Ooh. Okay, now we stab. Stab will move back. It's almost dead. Let's just keep running back. Come on. Awesome. Give me that skin, baby. I think this one is critically injured. Let's go. Let's go talk to him. Oh. Yeah, he is. He's running. Well, how are we going to corner him? I'm hurt. Okay, now he's severely wounded. Oh. Back to fish from barrel. I don't think we need to be targeting his eyes. He's already critically injured. Come on. Oh. Another one. 
another gecko down. Geckos are, I think, the only thing that we're actually decent at killing. Uh, what are you guys? Are you injured? He has crippled limbs. He has crippled limbs, okay. Uh, surely I can't see you from here, but... No, I can. And he has crippled limbs. Yes, run into the dead end. Flee before me. Want him to go into that room, not over here. This, this horrible. I hate how this feels. I went to their home to save that dude. Crippled almost all of them, and now I'm just going here and. Now, hitting them while they're down. I mean, to be fair, I guess they did attack me first, but... This one, I don't think I ever crippled. This one, I don't think is either. So, there's still a few fighters in here. Well, hopefully we're getting a decent amount of money for all these skins. God, I hope we can carry them all. How can I see my current capacity? Okay, we can still carry more. Uh, wrangling up this one will be hard, I think, because if he runs this way, there's about three geckos who might actually still be able to fight me. Uh, so I need to... I need to chase them this way. How am I going to do that? Actually, let's look at these. Okay, this one is not crippled. It is crippled. What about you? He's unhurt. So yeah, I think there are three... Three totally uncrippled. I don't want to fight all three at once. Maybe we just leave. Maybe, we, maybe eight skins is enough. We do have our companions waiting for us. Yeah, we won't mess with them. Don't want to completely depopulate them. I think... Oh, I am radiated. Well, that sucks. Let's go. You too. What you be needing? Let's go. What you be needing? Okay. We'll have to find somewhere better to sell those, though. Um, yeah, I guess we'll try selling them at the den. What? Sure. I should have rested. What the heck is this? Oh, that's a lot of plants, I'm just leaving. <laughs> Don't even waste the ammo, guys. Well, they aren't hitting us for a lot of damage, but... Wait, did, did we already kill one? 
Okay, maybe we fight. Let's try. Okay. Not bad. Old plant was hit instead of switch. <laughs> I realize they could hit each other as well. Come on, die. It's almost dead. Let's just stand here. Okay, why are these guys total trumps now? Finally. I can't believe Vic killed one before I did. Glad those geckos aren't aggroed on us. Oh, so how do you guys look? No. No, I didn't mean to do that, Vic. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to look at the tree. I want to look at Vic. He's wounded. Look. He's unhurt. Okay, we might have to go help out Vic. Luckily we have Sulik here just completely obliterating them. Vic, you better not die. Nice. Okay, let's run up and help Vic. No, oh, stop attacking Vic. Sweet. Okay, we leveled. Awesome. Uh, I do want to skin all those geckos, but let's relax for a moment. Of course, I can't rest. Do we have to kill all the geckos first? I don't want to leave the area because then those geckos will be gone. Oh, we could go in this cave. Uh, I probably can't rest here either. Fair enough. I don't think I want to mess with that. Well, it's gecko time. Sorry, geckos, it's genocide time. I guess those other geckos were golden, so. Yeah, maybe I'm feeling strong enough to go to Vault City now. Little geckos. See, I love lizards. I love geckos. They call them little geckos, which just makes them really cute. Vic, if you shoot Suluk, I'll be pissed. Okay. Nice. 
hopefully we can find someone with enough money to purchase all these in the den. Can we rest now? Thank goodness. Sweet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to level up. Um... What are we doing? We're doing melee weapons. What else is important? Uh, I need better lock picking. I hmm. Put some points into melee again. Yeah, I guess that'll have to do. Speech, melee, and a little bit better lofty. Oh man. Some spore plants? No, not really. I like that it gives me the option. Go. West Philadelphia. How much money does Tubby have? Oh, I need one of these, don't I? Oh, it's so expensive. Is that gonna be all of my skins down the drain? Yeah. Uh, I don't want this. Let's see. Is this really worthwhile? I guess he doesn't really have a whole lot to offer. Fine. I'll buy it at your exorbitant fee. I'm sure we can work with this. Oh, that feels real bad, but... But I do need it. Or do I? Um, how bad is it being radiated? I don't even know. Maybe I'll just stay radiated. <laughs> I'll stay stay a little bit radioactive for now. Um what we need more ammo though. That's actually important. Oh no, screw it. I do want to sell this gun though. Okay, maybe we can get one one of these. Okay, so just fifteen fifteen coins. That seems fair. Good but Maybe we need to press stealing from them. I need to remember though that um, on like Fallout 1 I'm not playing like a steely character. I don't think I'm any good at stealing. Yeah, yeah, not really. Um, you, what you be needing? You need ammo. Here. You don't have any stim packs. Here, take a stim pack. What about you, Vic? Do you have a stim pack? Yes. Okay, and you have my rope and shovel. Oh, 
Let's try and figure out who I sold that cat's paw to. Try and get that back. Not you. Um, was it the guy in here? Was it you? No. Well, fine. We sold it to someone. How are we doing? Den is done. Klamath is done. Uh, we, yeah, that's... We could go do that, maybe. Maybe we're strong enough now. Is Suluk's sister actually with these slavers? Do we need to go kill all of these slavers to free her? Ooh, look, is anyone in here recognizable? A big primitive looking man. A slender primitive woman. A woman captive. Ah, but I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with them. Maybe we do go fight those Wanamingos or whatever they were called. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's just so far to Vault City. Okay, let's save. Save game. Let's try this again. Maybe we'll have better luck this time. I'm not gonna help any anyone who I don't have to help. Like if they ask me to go help slave uh, slaves or something, I'm not gonna bother. They'll have to fend for themselves. What's happening here? Who are you? A caravan master? Bandits. Let's just go chill over here. Let's let them fight. We'll clean up whoever, um, whoever wins. The thing is, though, I'm going to want to take all of the loot, and I'm going to become overburdened and need to, like, run back to sell it all. Let's just hang out over here so I don't accidentally get shot. Take a while. Well, that caravan master, I think, will probably have a decent amount of stuff on him for us to take. It is looking like we're going to have to deal with these bandits. Maybe I should walk up behind this one, get ready to like shank him since they're done fighting. you. Slave. Wow, they're even fighting the slaves?
Oh my god. Why are they the slaves? Sure, they weren't fighting. Well. Sure, I think it's time that we go in now. Hopeless was not a, a bad decision. <laughs> that, that guy's not long for this world. And Vic, if you shoot me, I'll be pissed. Almost dead. Nice. How's he not dead yet? I thought he was almost dead. Wow, was that just friendly fire? Are you, are you a bandit? Yeah, bandit just killed the other bandit. No, let's make her walk up to us. Oh, well, okay, or Suluk will just go charge in. No, they're using their stim packs. I guess that's the downside of letting them just fight it out on their own. They're gonna use up all of their ammo and restorative stuff. Help that lady. The lady's got guts going up and uh, unarmed, just slapping this bandit um, with a gun. Could leave Sulik and the slaves to beat up on that guy. I'll go over here. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually save that guard. Probably not, but. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not. Severely wounded. Unhurt. Oh my. Okay. Almost dead. Awesome. Uh, which one is an injured one? Oh, did that kill? Okay, that didn't kill me. Whew. Definitely gonna need some rest after this. Okay, you are almost dead, sir. Please die. You're fully dead. Severely wounded? Nice. Thank you, Suluk. <laughs> Why is he so focused on me? I'm crippled. I've never been crippled before. Now if I have like a doctor's bag. Uh, we hobble. Okay, let's go help these fellas. This sucks being crippled. What are you actually doing? He's severely wounded. She's severely wounded. What about you, bandit? Severely wounded. You know, they could probably take that bandit. Oh my god. It's 
instead now. Wait. Sell this. We can sell this. Uh, what about you? Wait, you're still alive, right? Are you dead? Okay, you are still alive. Sorry, man, I wasn't trying to pickpocket you. Uh, see, I'm not gonna be able to carry most of this. I'll have to give it to Sulik or something. Why am I not hitting the take all button? Sulik. What you be needing? You carry this stuff for me. Here, here's. Yeah, just carry these guns. You can carry the skins too, you know? I'm carrying my burdens. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to do something. It's too much loot. We'll go back, we'll get that radiation um medicine, the rat away. It's the rope we can't carry all of. Okay, okay. Hey, Vic. Have this. What? How many ropes can I carry then? Hopefully Vic can carry all of that. Really? Why can't I rest? Is it because they're slaves? Okay, let's go back to the overworld. What was that sound? Can I, can I do any doctoring? Probably not. Okay, that was nice. But I couldn't heal my leg. Okay, we will try and... No, stop! going on here? Robbers? Bandits? Yeah, I just want to leave. Please let me just leave. Can't walk. I assume a stim pack won't do anything for my crippling condition. What are these guys doing? Just standing there in formation. Yes. I'm not gonna be able to get to the zone exit in time. Should have gone to that cave. Oh. 
Wow, I think I think we're screwed. Does Jet make me any faster? Well, we might be reloading here. If they kill Sulik, I'm reloading. We should have saved after we looted that caravan guy. Lost all that delicious loot. That's not the price for me saves coming. Let's try again. Nope. Please, let's just have an uneventful journey. Thank you. Um, I'm already irradiated. I'm getting out of here. With Radaway being so expensive, I, I can't afford to get too super irradiated. Just missed my lung. Such a kidder, Vic. Okay, let's heal up. Wow. Was Vic that injured? Who was so injured? Was it me? Well, let's leave. save actually let's try Hey, people talking to us. Oh no, it's this dude. Okay, we died last time we tried fighting Kaga. Um, yeah, sorry, Kaga. This is gonna probably go poorly for us. You Kaga? Alright. Let's just jump right in it. My hand! Conquer is to be feared by all. Oh, jeez. Maybe I shouldn't have ran it. I should have let Sulik come in and tank. How am I with this? Go, go for the grind. I need to have my knife equipped. Okay, I'm going to use the stem pack. Let's equip our knife. While we're at it, okay. It's crippled limbs. Almost dead. Here, let's take out the almost dead one. Unhurt. Oh, because I opened my inventory, yeah.
Dang it. Uh, so look, you deal with something. <laughs> No! Damn it. The Wasteland has claimed your life. Arroyo attempts to send out others to search for the Gek, but they okay, die quickly. Okay. Um, hmm. Well. Hopefully we get back Haga encounter again, because I, I want I want vengeance. And it's twice that he's killed me. Alrighty. Let's not go for Kaga. Let's go for this dude. Oh, I still have my knife equipped. Next, if I have to reload again, I need to equip my knife in the second slot. That way I have a, a 3 AP action. There's some I'm not the one tanking everything. Hopefully that doesn't mean that my dudes die. Ow. Okay, we need to heal. Maybe this is actually what we do. Oh, I should have used one my I'm an idiot. Frick, we need to use both. Kaga is just solely focused on me. Now Vic's probably going to get killed. Yeah, hey Vic. Almost dead. How's this bandit? Almost dead. No, no, don't kick. AP. Uh, how are we screwing up here? I think we're going to lose. I don't know how to do this better though. Are we just too too weak and crappy? I have one hit point. Well. Am I just supposed to run when I get this encounter? Okay, so the cog's gonna shoot me. I'm dead. Maybe I do just need to run. We'll flee. Load. Inventory. Knife. We don't need our galoshes. Save. There we go. Jeez. Well. Hey, Gaga. This must be like scripted to always happen at this point. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Please let me get out of here. Oh my god, there's a ton of damage to Vic. Is the price of me escaping going to be Vic's life? Do 
I reload? Or do I leave Vic dead on the floor? He has all my rope and shovel. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Why do we suck so much? Maybe we should just, just go fight those Wanamingos or whatever. Yeah, we might have better luck down here. A large pack of- no. Why would I ever want to encounter that? Okay, we can take out some puppers. Um... Okay, I don't want to attack Sulik. I want to attack this dog. Let's, let's attack this one. Third pup. Owie. No, I won't be able to move now. I think they've body blocked us. Okay, thank you, Sulik. You might have made a path for me. No! Bad buffers. We not feel any pain from that. I think I felt them. Um, Significant amount of pain from that. Yeah, they're completely body blocking us. Unhurt. What about you? Wounded. Severely wounded. Okay, that's the one that we stabbed earlier. Sorry, pup. Does see his dogs. Um, what the hell? I guess this is why wolves have a trip attack in D and D. Um, how are you guys doing? Do I need to run? Do we need to run from dogs? My God, we do. <laughs> no, the dog is not a common thug, Vic. It's a dog. Vic is, is... Yeah, they're both alive, but unconscious. Awesome. Oh no! <laughs> Please don't eat my companions. <laughs> Kill Vic. <laughs> Fucking dogs. Really? This is the saddest thing I've ever witnessed. I was feeling so good after we killed those helpless geckos. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, let's just get to reading. I'm going to run from everything. I just, I can't. I can't do. Yes, that was a lot of dogs. Hmm. 
Really? Are you serious? What is this RNG? Vic, leave. Vic's gonna die again. Man, do I need to send him to like cowardly mode or something like that? Oh, thank God. Where am I? No. Vic, run! No sword got in front. Vic is out of ammo. No, Vic, do not. Yeah, I need to set Vic to, like, not fight? I don't know. He needs to just be a pack mule. Okay, so we load up. Hey, so look. Um. I can't make you a coward. Just them? Run away. Oh. So, okay, that's as cowardly as he gets. That's fine. No, not trade. Talk. So, Sulik, you'll have to just sit there and tank, I guess. You. Run away. Uh, whenever your finger hurts. Be arranged. Attack, don't uh, attack the weakest. Sure. I guess that'll have to do. That's it. Okay, we need Vic to survive. <laughs> That's all that we want. Rez, how difficult that would be. Uh, maybe, maybe we can get to Vault City. Now. Maybe when we get that Koga encounter, maybe Vic will be a little bit more self-preservationist now. What is this? Oh. Well, we've gotten a lot further. No, I'm the chosen one. Oh, they have like a nice camp here this time. Angry bandits. Those aren't just any angry bandits. Ow. <laughs> I'm dead. You have died. Your village I wasn't expecting lost, that. Doomed to die of starvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh. I died. I was running that direction because it was the closest exit, but maybe I should have run the other way. So I'd be further from the banditos. No, we're getting out of here. They eat punks like you for breakfast.
Oh, I need to tell Sulik to use his SMG, don't I? That would really help in these fights. Ow. Wee, I'm out of here. Nope. Heal, heal, heal. About camp for a week to heal up. We're going to slowly just make it to Bolt City like this. What you hey. Can you, um... Okay, your preference is ranch than melee. Use your best weapon, buddy. Yeah. That is it. We say we've made progress. <laughs> Feels pretty lame doing it like this. Yeah, now if we get that Koga encounter, hopefully Sulik will just. Moonshiner. I'm not in combat. Hey, buddy. Yeah, let's see what you got. Beer. Okay, these guys are pretty okay. Later, man. Baka, baka, baka. See what this is. Koga. It is Koga. Damn it. Wait, the only exit is this way? I have to run past them. Okay. It's running time. <laughs> Why did you immediately put away your SMG? You have ammo for it. Sulik, I hate you. I didn't see everything that Kaga said. I think I called him Koga earlier. Okay, let's be skedaddling. Okay. We probably want to put our weapons away here. Let's rest. Now we'll put our knife away. Who are you? Oh, vast fields of dead and dying crops. All right. So this place isn't doing great either. Hey there. You're out. Do you need a water chip? Whoa. Dynamite. Welcome to Modoc. My name's Joe, and I run this here trading post. We don't have much, just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, Rose's bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just enough to produce goods to trade. Though that could change with this drought. Um, what can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? Run by Grisham and his son Davin. It's just east of here. He makes the best dang jerky this side of the Rockies. Bed and breakfast? The north side of town, travelers from all over come just to sample our world famous omelets. 
I don't like that spelling of omelets, though. Some say... Uh, some say her omelets can cure people of what ails them. Frankly, I think that's just a bunch of nonsense. Okay, curative magical omelets. I'm down with that. His name's Joe. He runs a trading post. Okay, sure. Tannery. No, I can't smell it. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Actually, what, um... Looking for a certain item. I'm looking for the holy geck. What? Wait, he knows where a geck is? What do you want? Um, my friend Sulik might know a rain dance. Okay, how can I help this little tiny village? There's a farm on the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of... What? Like, magically appeared? You're saying this farm just sprung up overnight? A group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm. That wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor, only to discover there wasn't anybody there. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the, crop, the crops rot in the fields, young Carl moved in. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange, glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. Of course we went looking for him. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. The horror. Bodies strewn everywhere. Some crucified while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. And the, and the crops of that farm are still flourishing because they're ghost crops. Okay, I have to go exercise ghosts from a farm. And he will... Theoretically, tell me where a gek is. I I doubt it. Deal. A day northeast. Sure. Spooky ghosts. Awesome. I sure love spooky ghosts. What is this? Okay, they have like a little church going on. What am I doing? I'm, um, trying to find a geck. It's like a machine that my tribe thinks will save them or something. Oh, I'm exploring Moda. I just got here. Why, why do you ask? I should probably save. Also, hello. How are you? Yeah, this is a slaughterhouse. But he sells jerky, right? Meat jerky. Well, we don't need any of that. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing in the game. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... 
Whoa. I'm kind of just wandering around, uh, lost. Yeah, sorry, I forgot I titled it that, so that really confused me. But that's the slaughterhouse up here. Oh, yeah, let's not go in there. It's the tannery. Where's the bed and breakfast? Was this the bed and breakfast down here? Hey. Hello, my name's Balthus. I run the tannery here in Modoc. Can I help you? Uh, sure. Okay, so we could get some better armor for Vic. He has enough money to buy... Actually, what does leather armor cost? That's... I don't have enough money. <laughs> I don't have enough pelts to sell him. Almost. Um, what can we afford to get rid of? Oh, we do have a ton of caps or coins or whatever, actually. We could totally afford this. Is it worth it to get Vic better armor? I don't know. I'm loath to lose that many caps. I'll just take some more. I'm just hoarding wealth. Whoa. <laughs> So how's your weekend been, Star? Sorry, this happens whenever I, uh, like, tab out and come back in. Just gotta wipe it all away. Yeah, was this the bed and breakfast? The guy started talking about slaughterhouse and um I just assumed that this was the slaughterhouse but yeah this is clearly the bed and breakfast <laughs> but ha huh? Who runs this a very shapely and seductive looking woman? Lol. A handsome young man. Okay, is this is this a bed and breakfast? Hmm. Okay, so they're all talking about the slaughterhouse here. This this isn't the bed and breakfast, I'm assuming. That's just like the house of the people that run the slaughterhouse? I don't know. So is this building next to the tannery? And that's just part of the tannery, right? Oh, is this a bed and breakfast? No. You missed your son. Wait. Is it... Hey, hey, Balthos. Do you have a quest for me to find your son? Hell uh, yeah, do you know where a Gek is? I have some questions for you. Okay, he's not saying about his son. What happened to your son, lady? Johnny. Okay. I guess I can't do anything about that. Um, okay, I guess we just leave? Oh, where are you? The townsperson. Oh, that's just Skedaddle. 
I think I just saved. Oh, here's the bed and breakfast. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. What is this? Pilot rocks. Okay, let's dig through this pile of rocks. Growl. Wait, are those puppers angry at with me? Okay. And let's close it. But at least they didn't attack me. Who are you? It's time's dying. What is this? A stable? Okay, regular domesticated Brahmin. Hey, what a lovely establishment. Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. Oh my, what a pretty young lady you are. What can Rose do for you today? What do you have to eat around here? When was the last time you had a good meal, young lady? Why, you're as thin as a rail. You just look at the menu and tell Rose what you'd like to eat. <laughs> Water's a thousand dollars. Wall. Uh, let's not take their water. You know, I want to try one of these omelets. Give me that omelet. Ah, it's my specialty. I hope you're hungry. I guarantee you've never tasted an omelet like this one anywhere. Biggest dang omelet I've ever seen. Amazing. Did that actually do anything for me? No. I was hoping it would unirradiate me. But the curative power of omelets only goes so far. Uh, is there an exit from the zone somewhere? I guess not. I guess to exit, I have to go all the way back to that other zone. What's this building? Couldn't have a fire that close to the building. It's probably like a fire. Well, I'd say it would be a fire hazard, but you have a burning barrel inside here, so. You'll watch. Watch. He was accusing me of stealing my best friend Cornelius' gold pocket watch. Me and Cornelius have been friends as long as I can remember. I would never take his watch. I've searched everywhere. Hoping to find it so we can be friends again. Well, if your friend won't believe you, maybe it's not worth being friends with, my dude. If I come across it, I'll let you know. They will help me because they think I stole it. It'd be nice to have somebody on my side. Okay, yeah, I'll ask everyone about your watch. <laughs> um... Uh, it's Fallout 2. It's set in like a, a post-apocalyptic time period. And so like everyone was destroyed by like, nuclear warfare. And I guess this is uh this is how people rebuilt. It's a little bit like how oh, Mad Maxi, a little bit just sad and depressing, but I don't know. There's uh funny stuff sprinkled around too. It's not as humorous as, um, like, some of the later Fallout games. Now, let me ask you some rumors. Sorry, sweetie, I'm busy serving customers. Maybe if you ordered some- I did order something! Okay, let's eat something again. Give me some stew. I can ask you questions now. Yeah, what kind of animal does lay such a large egg? That's a good question. What can you tell me about this missing watch? Oh, Cornelius is her husband. Cornelius has got the whole town believing his best friend, Farrell, took his watch. If you've talked to him, I'm sure you've noticed his mind isn't quite functioning properly. 
I'm pretty sure the poor deer just left the watch somewhere and forgot where. Okay. Oh. Well. There are rocks everywhere, sticks, a shovel. Are you Cornelius? No, you're a traitor. Are you Cornelius? Yeah, you surely are. Let's go talk to this dude. Why do you think your friend took your watch? Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name's Rose. I mean, Cornelius. And I run this bed and breakfast. Can I help you? Um... Looking for a gold watch? <laughs> then why don't you ask that no good feral? Maybe he'll sell you the watch he stole from me. Gotta shave the Brahmin. Okay. Get out of here. Maybe we'll talk to that traitor. I'm, um... I must be just completely out of it this morning because I I'm not um yeah you're it is weird there's a slaughterhouse and a bed and breakfast in this town and basically nothing else Have these Brahmin been shaved? They don't look like they've been shaved. Ooh. Desert weed. Let's go see what this stick or whatever is. Oh, maybe he dropped his watch in the outhouse. No. I can search the toilet. Nothing. Come on. What is this? A spear. Okay. There's just a spear laying around. Let's, let's ask everyone on the other screen about this watch. Oh, what is that? We found something on the floor with our psychic see-through walls for items ability. What is this? Someone left a book? Oh, a magazine. Sure, let's read it. Let's read the bathroom floor magazine. Very hygienic. I don't see anything else on the floor anywhere. So I don't think his watch is in here. And now there was a shovel in that other area. It's possible that we need to use that shovel to dig away those rocks in that area with the angry puppers. Maybe. Let's save, in case we do get attacked by puppers. I'll go and pick up this shovel over here. Even though Vic is holding a shovel already. Hello? Shovel. Okay, we freed the puppers. These rocks are just too big for me to move. What about now? 
It does nothing. Really? Oh, wow. Okay, the puppers are attacking us. Let's leave. Maybe I will reload. No, don't. No. No pupper violence. Let's get out of here. I knew those growls were a warning. Okay, I have to go talk to the shapely woman before we leave. If that's the only description they give of her, then... That's hilarious. Hello there, stranger. I'm Miria. Heard any good rumors? Have you come to the right place? This town's so boring, there's nothing else to do but gossip. And... Just talks and talks and talks. What do you know about Cornelius' missing watch? Rumor has it that Farrell stole it. But why? Those poor people tend to steal to make ends meet. Farrell definitely falls in the poor category. That would explain the new tools he bought soon after Cornelius' watch disappeared. But isn't Farrell Cornelius' best friend? Okay. What about... Tell me about Rose. Never wondered why her coop is so well protected. She says it's to protect her chickens from predators, but if you look closely, it looks as if she's trying to keep something in rather than out. Plus, who ever heard of chickens laying 12-pound eggs? Are they really? Okay, when... Went described a, as a big omelet. I didn't think it meant that big. A mutated Brahmin? Every once in a while, a Brahmin will give birth to a calf with only one head. Talk about weird. Now, uh, what about David? It's family. I can't. I don't spread rumors about my own family. Fine. That's fair enough, right? Okay. So, I'm very confused. So this is just like a regular house that the Slaughterhouse dude lives in with his wife and son? But why, why did it give such weird descriptions of them before I knew their names? Very strange. You, you don't know where a gold watch is, do you? Great jumping horny jacko snatchers. Is Cornelius still looking for his lost watch? Why can't he accept that it's gone? That dang watch never worked anyways. It'll be a Brahmin's uncle if it was I'll be a Brahmin's uncle if it was actually made of gold. Give it up, you'll never find it. It's Feral that asked me to look for it. You've got to be kidding. Everybody knows Farrell took the watch. Why would he ask you to search for it? Unless Farrell didn't steal the watch after all. Or maybe this is a trick to convince everyone, everyone he didn't take it. I need to think this out. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, business seems to be booming. You guys have a huge freaking house. I don't know where anyone else lives. Oh, okay, the Slaughterhouse is doing good business because all of the cattle are dying. I guess that makes sense. That sucks. Let's go to Trader Joe. I just realized he is Trader Joe. Joe is his name. Okay, he won't tell me anything about the watch. What about you, Mr. Tanner? What do you know about any watches? Have you seen a gold watch? 
Has old Cornelius got you looking for his pocket watch too? No, you won't find it here. That old coot probably just left it somewhere and forgot about it. What if he has it on him? What if I need to pickpocket the watch off of Cornelius? Maybe. Thing is, I'm no good at pickpocketing. Let's look through fair feral stuff. Or ask him about the tools. Should say that he bought like new tools recently. Where'd you get the money for the new tools? Hear you tell you that? I'll have to I'll have to spank her bottom for spreading rumors again. Look, I may be poor, but I have my pride. I helped one of the traders fix his wagon, and in return, he gave me some tools. I'm, I'm sorry, so is that not the slaughterhouse person's wife? Is that Davin's sister, maybe? Oh, either way, this seems like a very strange thing to say. Is it a brothel? A brothel? I don't know. Um... Do you have any proof of any of this, my dude? Now, who do you think did take it? Okay. The thief took his old tools? Okay, maybe this guy is sus. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted him so easily. Huh. A plant. Let's see, can we find an area where we can like see through his house, maybe? Yeah, not really. okay if I just wander in here? I mean, I don't see any containers. Like, there's nothing I can interact with in this house. So where would he have that watch? Now who's body blocking me? Guys, what are you doing? Push. Get out of my way. <laughs> Thank you. So let's save. Let's try and pickpocket. I know it's not going to work. But we are right in front of this man. Should probably, probably be behind him. What is this? Is this jerky? So yeah, he has nothing. Where's the door? Okay, let's check Cornelius. Oh yeah, so tell me about these uh, chickens. Uh, let's eat some fries. Oh. We have a contest on who can eat the most ramen fries. So far, the record's 36. If you break the record, you don't have to pay the tab for your meal. You look like you'd be able to beat the record. No problem. You interested in trying? Um. So what, they're five a pop. Do we have the money to waste doing this just for a giggle? Yeah, 
Just one. Yeah, tell me about these eggs. Why are they so big? Ah, you've had the dessert omelet. Delicious, wasn't it? it? Why is it a dessert omelet? If it was described as a dessert omelet beforehand, I wouldn't have ordered it. That sounds disgusting. Some people say it's healing properties. Oh, customers come, just came in. Okay, so she is being weird, won't answer her question. Where is her coop? Oh, this building with the rocks is the coop. Yeah. Oh, you know what? She didn't say dessert omelet. She said desert omelet. It's a desert omelet. <laughs> okay, so the guard doggos hers to protect people from finding out what's in her coop. If I want to be in that coop, I'm going to have to kill those doggos, and so I'm not going to. Or be really quick. We'll come back. That's um, a mystery that can wait to be solved, I think. Uh, we were going to try pickpotting Cornelius, but I forgot. Check out this ghost farm. Oh my god. Okay, save. Wheat ghost. Yeah, let's wait till morning. I don't want to be out here at night, right? It's almost morning anyways. Oh boy. Charming. By the way, I'm... Probably going to have to cut the stream a little bit early. Um, a family member is paying us a little bit of a surprise visit, so. <laughs> no, you can't have Alex. <laughs> goo. Oh, that's not goo, that's cow dung. Let's close that back up. Um, okay, so there are a lot of cows here. A lot of crops. So all of this just appeared out of nowhere one day. I don't understand. Rope. What? Um. Okay, so we're all crippled. The guard. We have been instructed to take all surfacers to Vagir. You'll not be harmed. Please come with us. Sure. Okay, I'll go with you peacefully. A visitor! How convenient! I've been contemplating on a way to make contact with the surfacers, but now I don't have to worry about that. Thanks to your timely arrival. Welcome to the home of the Slags. Uh, what do you want with me? A simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it's called Modoc. Would you do us this favor? Okay, so they all live, like, 
under the farm. And it looks like there's a bunch of ghouls living here too? I have a bunch of questions. Fair enough. I wouldn't expect anyone to blindly accept tasks from strangers without first learning a little bit about them. Ask your questions, I'll answer them as best I can. Tell me about your people. Once, long ago, we were once like the surfacers. We too dwelled above ground, until the world above caught fire. Our ancestors, who were part of a secret militia, sealed themselves and their families down here for protection. For generations, down here we've remained, safely hidden within the womb of Mother Earth. Okay. Um. Yeah, why don't you just send your own people? Since the sealing, we, as a people, have changed. Few can bear to be on the surface because they're not used to having a black sea of nothingness above them. Um, the sensation of falling upward is so great for them that they lie frozen, clutching the ground. That's not the main reason. All of us cannot stand the bright light that, of that which you call the sun. Living underground for so long has made our eyes too sensitive to light. We cannot travel far from the safety of our homes beneath the ground. Are they vampires? Oh uh, yeah, what's with the big ghost charade on the surface? Years ago, someone tried to take over our farm. Harvesting crops and stealing animals. They had no right to. We are not a violent people by nature. Nosy neighbors, unfortunately... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, but something had to be done. Our survival at the time depended on those crops. That's when we came up with the ghost idea. Smearing ourselves with glowing fungus, we were able to scare away this person and any other nosy neighbors. Unfortunately, this has been a little too effective. Lately, we've been seeking to make contact with the surfacers, but no one comes to the farm anymore for fear of the ghosts. So... Okay, I have a lot of questions about this. If it was just them putting on glowing fungus and being ghosts and going up to the surface to scare people away, that's one thing. But there are a whole bunch of, like, crucified and dead bodies everywhere up there. Are those fake prop bodies? Or where where did they get those? Like, something doesn't add up. Oh. Let's sure look at those bodies. If those are real bodies, then and why would I ever trust anything these people are telling? Like, I can't think of any legitimate... Like, even if it's, like, their own dead or something, like people that just died of natural causes that instead of burning them in a grave, they put them up there. That seems really sketchy. Sure, what's the purpose of your message? With the completion of the new irrigation systems, our food supply far exceeds our needs. We wish to establish trade with the surfacers and exchange surplus foods for much needed medicine. Oh, okay, sure. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll carry the message. Awesome. Uh, I'm crippled, though. Can you help me out? Okay, so this is a slag. Let me get a better look. He's unhurt. Let's talk to the slag. What's the sun look like? Okay, let's uh, skedaddle. How do we get out? A slag guard. Slag guard. A slag. A slag. Demons! <laughs> ah, yes. The demons left those bodies here.
How do I how do I leave? Like I see a ladder here, but I don't know how to get there. Can I leave through this door? Can I heal from this being crippled? Please, until I'm healed. Awesome. Okay. No, I'm still crippled. Well, that's great. Hey, are you gonna move? Thank you. Well, I guess I will very slowly walk back to the town. Yeah, like, these are... These are a lot of bodies. I don't... Like, how do you just put this up as a charade? Where are you sourcing all these bodies? Something doesn't look right. Okay, these bodies appear to be fake. Nothing but dummies covered in Brahmin innards. Okay, sure. Sure, they're fake bodies. Okay, these people aren't actually evil. Now, oh. Weird... Sacrificers of, of humans. They're fake bodies. They are props. Look pretty convincing, though. There's blood on the floor, even. Is this fake blood as well? Can I taste it? I think we move slow even there. Tell me this crippling will heal over time, just naturally, please. Hey, Trader Joe. I have a message from the leader of the Slags. <laughs> slags? Who are they? What's this? This is incredible. They've been living underground all this time. They say they'd be willing to trade food for medical supplies. I don't know if they can be trusted. After all, they killed Carl and all those other people. What do you think? Uh, yeah, the bodies are fake. Fake? But I saw the bodies with my own eyes. In any case, Carl's still missing. How do you explain that? Uh, well, I have a dialogue option that says I found Carl at the den. Oh. I did find him at the den. Okay, I totally forgot that I talked to him. Yeah, okay. Sure. He's a drunkard at the den. Give him a message. Yeah, I will go back to the den and give him that message. So he comes back home. Uh, so now I'm going to ask him where to, to do his part of the bargain. Tell me where the Gek is. And he's going to tell me, oh yeah, I don't know where the Gek is. I lied. Yep. Um, well, you see, I don't really know anything about this holy Gek thing you're looking for. You have to understand, we were desperate. However, I do know of a place called Gekko. It's a ways east of here. If I were a betting man, I would wager your Gek gizmo is located there. I wish I had more I could give you, but we're still a poor community, with not much in the way of offerings. Best I can do is offer you goods at basically my cost. But I'd be honored to help keep you stocked for your journeys when I have the goods, and I'm sure any of the other residents would be equally grateful if you asked them. Thank you. You've saved us all. Well, that was trivially easy. You don't really have anything that I want, though. Okay, bye. I need... I need a doctor. <laughs> okay, let's, um... Let's try and fix ourselves. You failed to heal your crippled left leg. Alright. So I think we're going to be crippled for a while here. Yep, I fail to heal my crippled leg. 
Come on. But yeah, this is this is a futile effort. Well, how do we get rid of crippled? Was this Stimpak? When injected, the chem provides immediate healing of minor wounds. That does not sound like it does. Oh, will a curative omelette do it? Okay, let's go get one of those uh, dessert omelettes. Oh, there's a well. Okay, let's save. I'm well crippled. Can I not go in? You need a rope to climb down safely. Uh, I have a rope. Point bag. Oh, say so throw. Um... Oh, I'm losing karma. Okay, I I, I don't want to do this. I'm stealing their well wishes. I shouldn't have taken those two. Can I put them back down? No. Uh, I'm sorry, Tom spoke. What is this? Is a gun? Johnny's BB gun. Wait, is Johnny down here? Is there a body? No? Yeah, I don't see anything else. What is this water? This is all the water that they have? How much did that screw up my karma? Okay, it's still pretty good. I guess let's leave. Maybe we will try and give Johnny's mom his uh, BB gun. <laughs> God, we're so slow. Jeez. BB gun with the name Johnny scratched onto it. Um. No, I don't want to shoot the lady. I want to. I want to give her this or show it to her. Ah, I loaded it. Okay, looks like I can't uh, give it to her. Johnny's dad. Okay. I don't know what we do with this gun. Uh, I'm going to save here. And uh, I think I do have to actually get off early. Um, just because we are going to have some company that I was not necessarily expecting. So, uh, I'm sorry. I do have to cut it early. Um, but yeah, I have to, uh, have to do some emergency cleaning, so, later. And, um...
Yeah, no, I'll probably be playing more Subterra Core on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, I don't know, may, maybe I'll try and play some more of this today, later on uh, in the evening, but, but no promises. Peace out.